Hey guys, welcome back. So we are officially fully packed, ready, ready to go to Disney World. We're driving to Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. That's the goal. We do have a hotel book there. Can't remember the name at the top of my head. Definitely will let you guys know at some point. Uh, right now it's showing seven hours and 27 minutes. So fingers crossed it won't be much longer than that. There is a lot of rain on the East Coast. <laughs> So hopefully it won't be too bad. We'll record it along the way and uh, woo, we're so excited. Bye. Okay, so I think we're somewhere in Maryland at a rest area. Everything's been going good. We were in like a major, major rainstorm, severe lightning. Now we're in Maryland and there are so many bugs. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bugs these are, but it's just crazy. Anyways, quick stop. We have just a little over four hours to go, showing us that we'll be there at 10, 21 p.m. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we have made it to our hotel where we're staying for the night. What is it called again? Uh, Candlewood. Candlewood, I yeah. think. I'll definitely put the name somewhere over here. Not too bad, definitely looked much better online. It had pretty reviews. The neighborhood from what we could see when we drove in looks pretty decent. Let me show you. All right, so we are on the first floor. Anyway, so full fridge, kitchenette, all right, so we got our two queen beds. They look pretty okay. The sheets look pretty clean, pretty soft. Pretty spacious room, but I think this room is handicapped accessible, so that's why it has a little bit more of space. Definitely not Disney, but you know. Very spacious bathroom. Or maybe it isn't handicapped accessible because it would have been a shed. I don't know. It smells good, smells clean. I guess that's all we could ask for. All right, I think we're just gonna have some snacks. I'm gonna make myself some tea and we're going to bed because we need to get up quite early to make it to Disney World tomorrow. All right, see you guys in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> Today is day two. Um, it's currently 4.47 a.m. We're aiming to leave at 5. I hardly slept. I don't know. I just was not comfortable. This lighting is awful. My face is also so red. Ugh. Um, I don't know. The boys slept okay, but I didn't. I mean, it was pretty quiet. I can't complain. We heard the neighbors a little bit upstairs. The refrigerator. We have a full-size fridge here, and it was so loud. Like, it was louder than the AC when it goes on. So anyways, gonna get a head start and hopefully make it to Disney in good time. Okay, we're all in the car. It's 5.09, so we're just 10 minutes behind schedule. So right now we are en route to Florida Welcome Center, which is six hours and 26 minutes. So it's showing us that we'll arrive there at 11.35. Fingers crossed. I mean, obviously we'll be a little bit later because we have to stop to get gas at some point and um, restrooms, restrooms, restrooms. Okay, we are like fanning over Bucky's, right? Yeah. It's so ginormous. This little section of the gas station is like the biggest gas station I've ever seen. Like these three pump sections. I it's know, like, right? The biggest I've ever seen a gas station. So cool. All right, let's go inside and check it out. Oh, there's Bucky right there. Oh.
The boys are just horsing around over here. We had our orange juice and we're gonna go take some pictures by the sign. We're that much closer to the magic. Are you guys excited? Yes. Andrew, are you excited? I'm excited. Okay. All right. Andrew got hiccups. Go, go next to Aiden. Mm -hmm. Getting our photos. <laughs> Can you tell how much my kids love to take pictures? <laughs> you guys are being silly. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Uh, but we're all done. Uh, bathroom used, photos taken. And Aiden is finding us a Publix uh, closest to where we're gonna be. And that's where we're headed next because we do need to pick up a few items. And then we're in the Disney bubble. <laughs> Oh my god, the rainstorm, it's like a monsoon. I had to pull over when we were driving. I mean, Floridians are flying. I'm a New Yorker, like I'll help you out with the snowstorm. But this type of weather, it's a whole different beast. The thunder is insane. Like I, I don't like thunder and lightning. We made it. We are at Fort Wilderness Campgrounds. We got a cabin, so we're gonna go find our cabin. I'm super excited. I picked up my owner's locker, it's right here. Aiden's here, and baby Andrew literally passed out like five minutes before we hit the sign that we were in a Disney bubble. I'm still scared, but I feel so much better. What a what a day, what a day. And I, I, I got a towel because I was drenched. A little while later, we picked up a pulled pork sandwich, a salad, some fried chicken, and I think I left some extras of like mashed potatoes. So we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna have a review of our road trip. Hello, and welcome to my cabin. All right, so we settled in we picked up stroller was delivered my owner's locker was delivered we're eating all the kids are showering i figured i'll finish up this traveling vlog yeah so it was it was interesting it was definitely a long day a long trip i would say so we ended up leaving yesterday from new york city at about 2 45 and i think we made it to North Carolina, Rocky Mount, North Carolina at about 10.30. We only got a little bit of traffic somewhere in Virginia. Of course it was raining. It was like a monsoon as well. And it was so much lightning and it was so loud and thunder. But thankfully it only lasted for like 15 minutes, but it was pretty scary. <laughs> Hotel was pretty crappy i have to say um the reviews were so so location was good it was quiet the pictures on the internet obviously looked so much better i don't know we were on the first floor i've purchased a few like extra security things you know to keep the door locked nothing was working it's like they try to do everything that you cannot use your extra security things anyways so i barely slept i think i got into bed like 12 30 and i was just kind of like tossing and turning and tossing and turning and the refrigerator oh my gosh it was making so much noise the whole night it was like it was like a furnace room i don't know it was awful and i heard like a knock on the door 
oh maybe it was the door next door I don't know and that like startled me and I was like oh my gosh so I just got up and it was like 4 15 and I said you know what I'm done I'm just gonna start packing up whatever we took out and I'm gonna get the boys up closer to five and we're gonna hit the road and so that's what we did so we got in a car at about 5 10 in the morning and our first destination was to get to the visiting center in Florida so that was like six and a half hours probably that maybe a little bit longer we didn't hit any traffic like there was no traffic if it wasn't for the rain and people just slowing down tremendously there would be absolutely no traffic at all we did a few stops we stopped at Bucky's that was like a bucket list location so check so we definitely spent probably good 30 to 40 minutes we got gas we got some food we walked around the entire Bucky's like we used the restrooms we got some um, merch that they sell so it it was worth it but that definitely took up like 30 to 40 minutes of our time we stopped at some rest areas you know really quickly I was actually like really clocking. I mean, we're very fast bathroom users. <laughs> Four minutes, like we were just like hustling in and out. And thankfully, again, also nothing was busy. So we weren't waiting in those lines for a long time. We got to Florida. We stopped at the rest stop. We took pictures. We had some orange juice. We stretched a little bit. And so I think we had under three hours to go. And I think the last hour and a half was just complete downpour like weather doesn't scare me like that and like sometimes we get really bad blizzards in new york and heavy snow and black ice like i couldn't see past my windshield like it couldn't see nothing you know people are braking people are obviously going different speeds so that kind of like freaked me out and the highway was busy like there was a lot of people on the highway then when the lightning and the thunder started that was it for me because i mean we obviously have lightning and thunder in new york but it, it's on a whole different level here and i feel like you know when you're driving and when you're not used to it it's you know it definitely makes you nervous and anxious and that was me so a point in time came where I felt safe pulling over it was like a ginormous overpass we just parked underneath and it was like a highway off of a highway so the trucks and cars weren't going so fast so we just parked there <laughs> with like 15 other people and honestly just stayed there for like 15 20 minutes until it passed and we went and did some food shopping because we needed to get fruits veggies things like that my strategy was let's go to Publix <laughs> and let that rain pass on the radar and then we're gonna go but so anyway so that strategy definitely helped but not too much because there was still so much rain and thunder and again it was a complete downpour but thankfully this time we were already on west fourth west fourth I don't know whatever it's called for what for west west oh my gosh i'm talking like i'm in manhattan over here uh for west you know we were passing like sea world and and things like that and and disney springs in some area so then you know we got to our cabin we checked in Actually, our cabin was ready at like 1 20. i did request to have the room available for us at one when i was booking you know they kind of give you options to see what time you're arriving and they'll try their best so i actually got a text message at 1 20 that the cabin was ready so i was super excited and the boys still didn't know they literally didn't know up until a few minutes before we were getting here so otherwise everything turned out to be okay i am super tired i'm having some prosecco <laughs> in this ginormous uh styrofoam cup and i'm just hoping to get a really 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 good night of sleep because i really need it body's so tired my eyes are so heavy like i just i feel it my face is so tired tomorrow is our epcot day and then we start pretty much a full week of non-stop disney fun before i close out the vlog i did want to mention that the boys actually did really well really well having headphones for my little guy was very helpful so if you have a young one definitely get headphones the activities it wasn't so much that he needed them like he does on the airplane because he was so occupied with watching movies and youtube but times came and 
he colored a little bit he opened up his doorables he did the markers so it was definitely handy nobody napped <laughs> he only literally fell asleep today five minutes before we pulled in into the resort so but otherwise i can't complain they did very well there was enough snacks there was enough food they listened well i don't know if i'll do another road trip anytime soon <laughs> just because of the of the rain situation it was definitely it was hard it was hard and i was very tense and i was nervous you know when you're not used to weather conditions like this driving not being able to see what's in front of you it's definitely a little bit scary but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions if you're traveling from new york city to orlando florida be sure to leave them down in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer everything for you and i'll probably have another follow-up video where i share maybe what we spent on the road and things like that probably after we come back from from disney all right guys again thank you so much for watching be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you real soon Bye!